these three states are permanently at war. Then it's not a sham. Wait. War has changed its character. It exists only to preserve tyranny. Fighting when there is any takes place on vague tropical frontiers around the floating fortresses. The essential act of war is the destruction of human labor, a way of shattering or sinking the materials which might be used to make the masses too comfortable, in the long run, too intelligent. No invasion of enemy territory must ever take place. Then the real war isn't with Eurasia at all. It's between all of us and... And then, the party member, like the proletarian, tolerates conditions because he has nothing with which to compare his way of life. Efficiency, even military efficiency, is no longer needed. In Oceania, nothing is efficient except the thought police. The swine, the filthy swine. Big Brother. Does he exist? Is the guise in which the party shows itself to the world. No one has ever seen him. It's all here. The revolution, what it was like before that, what freedom was. Oh, Julia, I know now at last that I'm not mad. Oh, my darling, you thought that. Well, even if a person's the only one to believe something, that doesn't make him mad. There's truth and there's untruth. But if you stick to the truth, even against the whole world, you're still not mad. You've understood the reality of the past and of the present, Winston. Now, what of the future? The question, how does one man assert power over another? By making him suffer. Exactly. Obedience is not enough. Power is inflicting pain and humiliation, otherwise you cannot be sure. Power is tearing human minds apart and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Power is not a means, it is an end. In our world, there will only be triumph and self-abasement. Everything else we shall destroy. The past is forbidden. Why? Because when we can cut man from his own past, then we can cut him from his family, his children, other men. There is no loyalty except loyalty to the party. There is no love except love of Big Brother. All competing pleasures we will destroy. If you want a vision of the future, Winston, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Winston, you are thinking that my face is old and tired, that while I talk of power, I am unable to prevent the decay of my own body. But the individual is only a cell, Winston. And the weariness of the cell is the vigor of the organism. You fail. Why? It's possible. Hatred and fear have no life. Why is hate less vital than love? I don't know. But somehow you fail. Something will defeat you. Life will defeat you. We control life at all levels. We create human nature. Men are infinitely malleable. Or perhaps you return to your old idea that the proletarians will arise. Put it out of your mind. They're helpless animals. Humanity is the party. I don't care. In the end, they'll beat you. Sooner or later, they'll tear you to pieces. On what evidence? Goldstein's book. I wrote it. Or at least I collaborated in writing it. No book is individually produced, as you know. I just believe it. I know you'll fail. There's something in this world. Some spirit that you will never overcome. What is it, this principle? I don't know. The spirit of man. 